So in my recent videos, I've been making a lot of beats from scratch. So I thought I'd take a break for a bit and go back to getting carried by samples. <laughs> So today I'm going to be using some new sampling techniques to make beats in the style of Nux and Nams. The main reason I'm making this video is because I got a message from someone asking to break down some of my sampling techniques. And recently I've discovered a new tool to help me find rare samples that like barely anyone's talking about so I thought I might as well cover it in this video. Also this is not a sponsored video, I'm not affiliated with this website or anything, but I do think the tool is very useful. So the tool I'm going to be using in today's video is radio.com. I've seen a few people talk about it but there's no like long form content really breaking it down. The gimmick for this website is you have a world map, a timeline of the past 100 years, so you can pick any area of the world really and a time that you want the sample to be from and you can just click around and search for different samples that are from different places in the world at different times and it's really cool. It's a really nice alternative to just searching through YouTube playlists. Now do I think it's a replacement for like traditional sample searching? No. But even for inspiration or something like that, this website is a much more tactile way of looking for samples in my opinion. Just an example, I'm going to pick like my home nation. I'm just going to pick the 2000s. That does sound very 2000s. But you can also go back to like 1920s. Bro, ever since Harry Potter dropped, this is genuinely how some Americans see the UK. We could try like modern day in Spain or something. Go back to like the 1960s. I think by now you kind of get the point of the website. And what might be cool is going back in time in your own cultural heritage and just seeing what you can find to flip into a beat. So I'm gonna go to like France in the modern day or something. Very stereotypically French. Or the 1950s. Um. <laughs> I will say if you go far enough back in time, the music does start to get a bit mad. We'll just try again. I think we found it. I feel like I've talked for long enough now, so I'm gonna go into FL Studio and see if I can flip this into a beat. Definitely gonna be some chopping involved because the pianist isn't exactly in time, so. The second phrase is slightly out of time, so I'm gonna make this unique. All right, now that we've got our main eight bar loop, we're gonna want to look for some other parts of the sample that might be useful, so that's what I'm gonna do now. So now that we have a 16 bar loop, I'm going to record this into Edison so we can chop it up later. I'm going to pitch it down one semitone. I'm happy with how that sounds, so I'm going to start a new pattern and lay down some drums. I haven't made a drill beat in a while, so this might be interesting. Thank you. 
think I need to take out more of the low end of the sample because I can't really hear the 808. <laughs> certain frequencies in the melody are clashing with the bass line so I'm going to give everything a quick mix down and then we can listen to the beat. I might see what this sounds like with an acapella real quick. I forgot about this part in the video. How many times would they say I'm the smoothest? Truth is, I never not moved this way. My trench coat level, my shoes are suede. Biggie don't step on my pubes, babe. Walk ages in these trainers, but I ain't tripping and losing faith. You know, I've been tested with that question. Why they on net doing cute? She say I'm a son of a gun, but really miss me like she's shooting strays. It's cool, it's great. But it's more fun when you lose your waist. Made than a man like Kano, where they able you to move in Kane. Search for peace. Alright, I'm pretty happy with how that one turned out, and I think the percussion fits pretty well with the sample, it does start to rush the sample a little bit at certain points. I don't know why, but I really love the acapella on this beat. I did not think that was going to work. Hopefully this video has been slightly more informative than usual. There's a chance that I'm the only one that didn't know about this tool, and everyone's just been using it for years and I had no idea that it existed. I just thought I'd share what I've been using recently to sample. Hopefully if you're looking for some inspiration, this video helped you in some way. And of course, if you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. Let's just listen to the beat and see what I could do better for next time. Thank you.